hello, 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 hello. Let's wait a second for everyone to get in here. We're gonna talk about a little Etsy action today. I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can uh, be more successful on Etsy. And also, if you guys have any questions on how to be more successful on Etsy, just uh, ask them away. So <clears throat> if you can hear me in the chat, just let me know. And we'll get chatting. Hello. Hi, D. Can you hear me well? Is the uh, audio doing okay here? <clears throat> Okay, looks like it is. Nice to see you, D. Any uh, questions about uh, Etsy? Okay, looks like it is. Nice to see. Okay, okay, perfect. Glad you can hear D. That is wonderful. Uh, let me just back out of here one second. Okay. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to be uh, chatting about how to get you guys more sales on Etsy. Um, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to say hi in the hi chat. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> so I got uh, I got three things uh, that we're going to specifically go over uh, today that I think will help you get uh, more sales on Etsy. Uh, we'll go through each one of them. Uh, hello from LA, uh, like Los Angeles. Uh, me and Kelsey are originally from Los Angeles. We lived there for about 10 years. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so... You guys like this some of this little artwork? Have you guys uh, have you guys dove into any of the uh, AI artwork yet? Is that anything that you guys have started doing? Um, I hope so. If you haven't, uh, because I'll definitely uh, emphasize to you guys uh, why it is very important uh, currently. Um, I think the thing is, is that. <laughs> especially on YouTube uh, it's turkey right because the people that uh, sell shirts on Etsy right but then also like teach how to sell shirts on Etsy which is like us right um, probably aren't talking about uh, this AI stuff but you guys deserve it you guys are the best and we want to give you guys the best information all the time right and so we're going to share share our secrets uh, with you guys so First and foremost, uh, just as like a general topic uh, to start out with, if you haven't started exploring uh, making AI art, or if you don't even know what I'm talking about, um, first and foremost, I would implore you to start exploring it, right? I would implore you to start looking into it, start thinking about, you know, how you can integrate it. Uh, there's just so many different things, especially if you're like in the uh, uh, digital print, digital download uh, um category right and if you're not like if you just sell print-on-demand t-shirts um, digital downloads are a great thing um, you can make things like scrapbook paper right like here's a <coughs> here's a good example of some scrapbook paper okay nice do the same she hasn't made uh, AI art yet but played around with it a little that's great <coughs> excuse me Okay, um, yeah, so this is, um, hi. <laughs> yeah, if you can hear me in the chat, uh, let us know where you're from, and we're gonna be teaching you guys. Uh, I'm gonna, it's gonna be a double thing. So I've got three things specifically that I wanna talk to you guys uh, here on my little list that I'll go over and make sure to uh, help you guys get more sales on Etsy, hopefully with those three things. But also, um, I would like you guys, you know, you guys let me know how I can help you get more sales as well, right? What are the things you struggle with, right? Like, are you at the beginning stage and you're struggling with motivation? Are you struggling with um, design ideas, niche ideas, you know? What, what are you guys struggling with? Um, I encourage you to let me know. Like, I'm here. This is the Ask Me Anything, you know? And if you're watching this in the future, um, <laughs> this is probably going to be a good stream because I feel like I'm just going to 
let you know all the answers. Try to help you guys get more sales on Etsy. So, let's see. Heather says, hi from Michigan. Hello, Michigan. Hello, Heather. <clears throat> okay. Just got... Let me get the chat over here. One second. <clears throat> Okay, there we go. Now I can see the chat. <clears throat> okay, let me just see. If this is all set. Can I still see this? Okay, yeah, so scrapbooking paper. <clears throat> if you guys haven't messed with scrapbooking paper, um, I would definitely encourage you to start. Uh, this is something that, you know, obviously we talked till we're blue in the face about selling t-shirts, but uh, if you just need some quick wins, right? Some quick wins. Um, I would definitely recommend messing around with some scrapbook paper. Uh, it's super simple to do. Um, if, you're, if you're already a nat, you know, if you're already designing, you're already an artist, like it might be something good to diver diversify. Um, and then let's see, stuff like this, all right? <clears throat> like that's a pretty cute, cute scrapbooking paper, right? Yeah. Um, let me know in the chat with like a one. Uh, do you guys sell T-shirts primarily? Uh, one for yes and two for no. Would love to hear if you guys are doing T-shirts because I can give you guys some some good advice. One from T-shirts, nice, nice. <clears throat> Okay, okay. Nice, nice. Yeah, so I love t-shirts too. You know, that's that's what we started with. That's what, you know, we sell <clears throat> primarily. And I feel like uh, it's a great, great thing to do. But diversifying is always good too, you know? So, okay. So, awesome chat. Awesome chat. Just getting started. Okay. Um, I started my second Etsy store after enrolling in your course. What? Uh, I'm selling good. All credit to you. Get out of here. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's so sweet. You can get me emotional. I'm so I'm so excited that you're doing good. And thank you for investing in the course. That's amazing. I'm so glad that you're having success. That is awesome. Yeah, I actually have a fun announcement about the course too. Let's see. Where is it? <clears throat> oh, that's not it. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Is it in here? Yes. Okay. It's in here. Okay, cool. We will come back to that, but I'm excited actually that you brought the course up because I'm going to show you guys something also. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, okay. Let me check the chat just for a sec. <clears throat> Do you ever sell print-on-demand message card jewelry? No, I, ha I haven't done that yet, um, but that's very cool. Very cool, yeah, there's so many new things out there. Um, do you put all of your different items in the same shop or in different shops? Uh, does it affect anything regarding the algorithm? Uh, great question, Heather. So I would encourage you to get one shop rolling first um, because th th there's certain things that can help you know get the momentum especially when you're first starting out which is like you need to get a decent amount of reviews you need to get a few sales and you need to like have a bit of an established shop so people can know like and trust you right um down the road and we've done it ourselves um diversified into many different shops um basically specific on different niches um, but if I was just starting out now, I mean, mind you, we started on Etsy in 2013, so we're 10 years in now. Um, but if I was just starting out, I would put all my energy and all my focus uh, singularly on just one shop. So, <coughs> all right, let me see, let me check the chat here. Where did your guys' little chat go? Bear with me. I don't know where chat went. You guys disappeared. <laughs> Who doesn't love this cute pug, by the way? Oh, there you are. See, I don't know where you guys, why you guys' little chat disappeared. Okay, <clears throat> chat is back. And then this should... Uh, my chat coming through. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> 
All right, so let's check the chat here. Oh, this is a good question. Uh, can you use this exact same tags and titles for multiple listings or do you change them a bit for each listing? No, I very much do not change them because especially when you get something going, um, so say you're in the in the dog niche, right? You're in the, the pug niche, right? If you get um, tags and titles that are working well, just make variations of different, of different pug stuff and definitely just just ride it till the cows come home, you know, don't, um, and don't by any means, um, change the, the titles and tags because you know that that combination of title and tags is working for that subject matter. And I'd encourage you to get like a Google doc or something <clears throat> and definitely add those, you know, titles and tags and be like, these are winning tags for this, this, this specific niche. So that's a great question. <laughs> Okay, read the chat a little bit more here. <clears throat> Have your t-shirt price recommendations charge, uh, charge prices all a little more than when you began for? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, you know, our journey is that we used to hand print our shirts, right? So we used to hand print our shirts. I think we used to sell them for like $19.99 or something like 10 years ago. Um, but now, yeah, I, you know, I always say, that you want to have, you know, I would say minimum five dollars after your cost. So if you're doing print on demand, you know, if your if your costs are fifteen bucks, you're gonna to want to sell your shirt for somewhere between, you know, twenty and twenty five bucks. You know, if you're using ads and stuff like that down the road, um, you might have to adjust stuff. But going on, I'd say generally speaking, just twenty five bucks is a good place. Um, and then once you get a little bit of established, a little bit of listings, a little bit of reviews, I feel like $27.99 can kind of be your homeostasis. Uh, $29.99 can work too, it just depends. Um, you can, one thing that you can do too to be successful on Etsy and sell more on Etsy too is like, once you have a listing that's getting a fair amount of sales, you can then adjust the price, right? So if you know this thing is selling consistently, don't be scared to increase the price. I feel like that's the biggest mistake I see people when they first start out is they're afraid to adjust the price, you know, so once something's rolling, I feel like you can continue to increase that price. And then if you see sales start to deteriorate, then at that point you can move it back down or maybe you like max it out. So <clears throat> do you still love using GoDaddy Studio? Yes, I do still love uh, GoDaddy Studio. Yeah. Okay. Let's get in. Let's see. Audio is still working. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Okay. So let's get to my list. Um, yeah. So the biggest thing. Um, oh, yeah. That was one question I was going to ask. One, if you've already started your store, and then two, if you haven't started, would be super helpful. So then I can help understand where you guys are coming from. And this next thing I'm about to say will make a bit more sense. Also, while you're thinking about that, <clears throat> another general thing is um, when it comes to Etsy, um, are you guys finding anything that like you get stuck on the most, right? Like because my thing, this is how we started. I don't know if you guys have seen some of our older YouTube videos, um, uh, but we literally, when when we first started doing Etsy print on demand, and this is a, <laughs> me and Kelsey literally were like, we're so good at listing and we're so good at making designs. <clears throat> this is a legitimate thing, which is so funny, is that we're like, let's make a hundred listings, right? Let's make a hundred designs and a hundred listings and then let's go to the gym. <laughs> that, that, that was literally like the first day that we ever started. So we made like a Google Doc and we were like, let's make 100 listings and 100 designs. Um, I'm not sure who was designing, who was listing. One of us was designing, one of us was listing. Anyways, that was our <laughs> very big goal for one day and then we're gonna go to the gym. I think we ended up making like 40 designs and 40 listings or something. Um, obviously 100 was, you know, we were a little bit... Uh, fired up and we, we thought we were going to be able to do it right. Uh, but I think we got to about 40. <clears throat> but with that being said, 
that's the mindset and that's the perspective. That's the, the way that we went about first starting. Um, so little Kelsey and little Jaren, when we were first doing print on demand, we were willing to do a tip to do a hundred listings and a hundred designs in a single night. Right. And you might be thinking like, Oh, for X, Y, Z, that sounds very difficult for me. That's fine. Um, if that is difficult, but I do want you to understand that it really is about volume, right? It really is about volume. The biggest thing, if you're a beginner and you're just starting out is that you got to try stuff out. You got to fail. You got to figure out how to make artwork. You got to figure out how to make listings. You got to figure out how to make tags and it does not matter. You got to withhold judgment from yourself, right? You got to withhold judgment from yourself. Um, my thing and the, the best advice I could give you just starting out <clears throat> is that I would make a hundred designs and get them up. And then I would also not even like withhold judgment from myself and my store for 90 days, right? Because it's so easy to be like, oh, I made this thing, but it's not selling. Da, 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 da. I honestly, I would just completely withhold judgment. Just do the work, right? Maybe spend an hour a day, five days a week, uh, make some listings, you know. If you guys have watched the most recent Jenny video, has anybody seen the most recent Jenny video? If you haven't, it's insanely inspiring because she talks about how while she was a teacher, she literally made her entire business and started it out being a full-time teacher and a full-time mom and a wife on her phone just with a little bit of spare time. She literally talks about how she built her business just 15 minutes at a time. And I feel like the biggest thing that people get stuck with is they're like, there's so much in their head, right? You need to just... You know, as soon as this video is over, if you have time or if you're just inspired right now, just stop watching this video and just get to listing. You really got to get to listing. You got to just you got to make some artwork and you got to start listing. I got some things that I'll show you uh, as this live progresses to help you with the artwork part. Um, but you just got to get going. You know, does that make sense? Let me get a, a one in the chat if that makes sense for just getting going. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, yes. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so as far as um, the course goes, I actually forgot I was going to show this to you guys. I got distracted. So if you guys don't know, we have the Life Hacker Success Academy. And, and the reality is the, the secret to how to be successful on Etsy is that there is no secret. That's the secret. <laughs> but if you want to do the steps that are required to be successful and you want to know that you're not missing anything, right? That's what the Success Academy is. Obviously, you've had thousands and thousands of people take it. Um, but what I wanted to tell you guys is that we have added a couple new sections. Um, so if you are someone that is in the course, make sure to go back and go look. So where is it? Okay. Yeah, so this is the Etsy Mindset Masterclass. So this is brand new, y'all. So if you guys already have this, you got to get in there um, and go check this out. Um, we literally gave you guys, we just included this. We were going to make this, uh, available, um, on its own, but we went ahead and give it to you guys for free. So yeah, so here you go. So section one, you guys can see this conquering ne negativity, millionaires exercise, how to remove limiting beliefs, how to be self-motivated, uh, removing perfectionism, um, helping with overthinking, um, mindfulness, forgiveness, time. Um, expanding your creativity, compassion, cultivating gratitude, uh, confidence, millionaire harmony, uh, my millionaire mindset affirmation, um, talking about money, compensation, uh, how money is a living force, an exercise, goal, patience and perseverance, which is required to be successful on Etsy. So this is in there now. So if you're already a member, like <laughs> definitely go check, the, check this out. We literally put our heart and soul into this to give you that mindset of that like, I can't do it, right? So I want you guys to realize that like, we are here to help you, right? That's like what the point of this entire chat is, right? The point of this entire chat is to help you guys to the best of our abilities. But at the end of the day, no amount of help that we can give you is going to matter if you don't put the work in, right? You gotta simply put the work in, so <clears throat> awesome. Okay, I'm gonna take some water and I'm going to check out the chat. Where did my chat go? There we go. <clears throat> Thank you so much for adding the class. You are so welcome. Yeah, you're so welcome. I'm actually super excited. That wasn't the 
I kind of got caught up. That wasn't the main thing I was going to announce today, but I got one more thing to announce too for the class. Um, yeah, so the, the second thing that we're going to announce with the class um, will be coming up soon. Uh, absolute beginner, should I start designing and selling t-shirts on Etsy? <laughs> and how do you come up with your designs? Okay, great question. Okay, so <laughs> it's so funny how these uh, these lives work. They literally blow my mind because like I have like a structure of like how I want to tell you stuff. But then like the chat will just like, it just <laughs> it works out perfect because then you guys give me these ideas that I was already going to speak about. So with that being said, right? Um, how do you think about designs? So the one of the best things that you could possibly do right now uh, for your Etsy shop and to get more sales on Etsy, you can literally, if you're on your desktop, you can open up another tab right now. Um, or if you're on your phone, go on your computer. Um, I'll give you a second because I'm going to kind of like anyone that is like this, I'm just going to walk you through it so it's super simple and you guys can have some actionable nuggets to take away with you right after this. So. <clears throat> Just gonna give it a second to open up a tab and get ready. How's my audio? Looks like the audio levels are good. You good in there, Ben? <laughs> you good? <laughs> what was that? Oh, nice. You okay with that? Yeah. All right, love you. <laughs> Gotta love live video, right? The uh, the kids are throwing throwing <laughs> throwing toys around back right there. Okay. All right, chat. <clears throat> oh no, I'm driving. No worries. This will be recorded, so you guys can come back to it, right? Um, so if you <laughs> you'll never have. I don't want to ever hear about having not having an idea um, of what t-shirts design after I give you this tip, right? This is going to be the, the opportunity to give you infinity, right? Infinity. And so I'm sure you guys have all heard of ChatGPT. Um, if you haven't, uh, go to ChatGPT. You can sign up with like a Gmail account or something. It's like the simplest thing in the world. Um, and go in there and type in what are the most popular professions, right? What are the most popular hobbies is the thing that you can you can ask, right? Um, what are the most popular clubs, right? What are, what are the most popular national parks, right? These are all questions that you can ask ChatGPT. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you a huge list, right? It's going to give you a huge list of all these, these different things. So it'll talk about different clubs, different uh, national parks. It can talk about um, hobbies. Uh, you can type in uh, things like what is the most um, what is the most popular uh, not horoscope what is that called zodiac right <laughs> what is the most popular zodiac um, <laughs> what is uh, what is the uh, what is the most uh, passionate career right what is the, what is the career that people are the most passionate about these are all different things so that you can type into chat GPT and it's going to give you a ton of answers right uh, if you guys don't know chat GPT basically, has all of the internet and what it does is it just spits you out answers it's unbelievable cheat codes like and if for somehow you haven't heard about it I am very happy to have unveiled this to you so does that all make sense throw a one in the chat if you've used chat GPT to to any degree uh, you can put a two in there if you have no idea what I'm talking about and then I can go a little deeper into it so <clears throat> Lots of people uh, coming in. Hello, everybody. Uh, let us know where you're from in the chat, and we're teaching you guys how to sell on Etsy. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Okay, cool. So it looks like about half of you. Well, I'm very excited uh, for the people that... What's up, Idaho, Texas? Hey, hey. Um, Scotland, welcome, welcome. All right. Um, I'm very happy for you guys who haven't uh, used ChatGPT. Uh, that will be your first homework is go to ChatGPT and type in questions like what is the most, um, what is the most passionate or, you know, what is the most, ex um, you, you can use different um, adjectives to describe different things, right? So it can be like, um, what is the most, 
uh, what is the biggest um, uh, career, right? What is the most career, or what is the uh, the biggest career uh, in the United States of America? What is the most uh, passionate thing that people have hobbies for? Um, what are the, um, what are people's, uh, what is it? Uh, what are people's favorite sports? You know, basically anything, right? Because anything that someone has passion or enthusiasm for, any subject that you can come up with, ChatGPT is gonna give you a whole list of different stuff. So. I, I think it's going to be a great tool for you guys. Um, okay. And then, yeah, another thing we talked about is withhold judgment, right? So if you're just starting out, um, if, you, if you're just starting out on Etsy, or even if you've been on Etsy for a bit of time, um, even if you're, you've been on Etsy for years, right? What I would do is I was commi- I'd commit to a new, you know, a new challenge, right? Have a new 30-day challenge where you spend the next 30 days um, and you make a hundred new designs, right? 30 days, hundred new designs. Um, if you already have like one niche that you like and that you know SEO is pretty good for, just design a hundred things in that particular niche. Like you can do it. Like any niche, you can design a hundred different things. Like it doesn't matter if it's national parks, right? Design a hundred different things. If it's bachelorette party shirts, design a hundred different things. But withhold judgment for 30 days and get those hundred designs up and just give yourself like, If you know, we talked about this immensely, but if you want to have a new effect in your life, then you have to be the ultimate cause, right? Meaning that you have to like, you have to put an equal amount of effort in to get an equal amount of effort out, right? And if you're like, oh, I'm not selling or I'm kind of nervous or I don't know if if my stuff is good and this and that, that's what every single person has ever done. Every person that's ever sold anything has to persevere through that time where it's a little bit awkward, but the people that, that's the thing that's the thing too why people are like oh etsy or the internet or anything is saturated right it's totally not true it's not true because so many people give up right so many people be, give up it's just you can simply win by just outworking people literally just by staying committed to it right um i have i have tons of these google sheets where i have uh, qualitative and quantitative tracking right so like uh, for example like every single day I track things like, did I create today, right? Did I create today? Did I read today? Did I work out today? Did I do Kijong today? Um, But I track all these different things, right? And I, on a scale of like one to 10, I encourage you that if you wanna be successful in Etsy and you wanna get more Etsy sales, commit yourself to a certain amount of work every single day, right? You can make a Google Sheets and you can have all the tasks in there, right? Um, And you can say, you can say, uh, did I did I design today? You know, and and I, I always go through a scale of uh, of zero to ten, right? So say I designed a couple of things, right? Maybe I'd give myself a five. Um, did I research today? Say I spent half the day research and then give myself a ten. Um, did I list today? Give myself a you know zero through ten, things like that. Um, how uh, did I design, uh, you know, and the main thing is, is getting in the habit of doing it every single day. So what you can do is you have this Google Sheets, um, you have a Google Sheets and you track these things and what you can do also is make a graph. And if you're a visual person like I am, the graph is very satisfying when it has a whole bunch of tens on it because it's a bunch of colors, right? Google Sheets is a bunch of colors. Um, and this might sound like slightly confusing, but it's so simple. Like you literally just go to Google Sheets and you type in the thing at the top column. So like, did I design today? Did I, um, did I list today? Did I create today? Uh, did I research today? And then on the left, just put the date, right? And then just put a number in each one of these things. And then you just simply click down and you say, uh, make graph. And it literally makes a graph below all your information. And as a visual learner, it's so satisfying because you don't wanna go a day where it's just like all those zeros, right? You didn't create, you didn't list. Um, you didn't uh, you didn't do any research, right? It's like that's so unsatisfying, right? Especially if you have this momentum, and that could help you through this 30-day challenge to get you more sales on Etsy, right? Because you want to get 100 listings, um, and you <laughs> you know what you should also have if you struggle with the mental part of it is um, did I uh, did I uh, withhold judgment today, right, about my results, right? And it's like, and then you can keep yourself accountable because at the end of the day, what gets measured gets managed, right? So what gets measured gets managed. And so your SE success is an important part of that, right? And so if you can see the visual inputs of the work that you're putting in, the time that you're putting in um, on displayed on a graph and you have to be accountable, right? Do this every single morning. If it's if this is important to you, 
um, you know, have your accountability be the first thing every single morning. So give me a one in the chat if that makes sense. I would love to, I'd love to hear it. That's kind of a, <laughs> kind of an extensive, uh, my tiny, my tiny bullet point uh, got, <laughs> ended up being a, quite an extensive lesson, but I think it's important. <clears throat> All right, need a little bit of water. Oh. <clears throat> Get my chat back. So hi everyone that's new in here. Let us know where you're from in the chat. Uh, we're talking about how to get you more Etsy sales. I'm here to help you, so be sure to let me know your questions if you have any questions. Um, oh yeah, we were talking a little bit about uh, this. So if you guys don't know, all this art uh, was generated with word prompts. Um, so word prompts is how you generate AI art. Basically, if you're not familiar with ChatGPT, um, they now have things where you can do art like this, right? So what I actually just did uh, if you guys are already a member of our Success Academy, whoop, yeah, so if you guys don't know what it is, this is our Success Academy, this is our flagship course. Um, what I just did is, whoa, where is it? <clears throat> is on top of the mindset um, that we talked about, like the Etsy mindset, um, what we just added is Etsy, whoa, where's it go? Etsy, how to make money with AI art. So this is how we make our AI art. <clears throat> and we went through uh, the entire process, right? But the exciting thing is, is that today, the next chapter drops and we're gonna probably have, I don't know how many chapters, probably uh, 10, because I just keep learning stuff every single day and you know how to make things like this. It's just, you know, it's priceless. I just had some fun. This is some fun stuff, but isn't this unbelievable? Like some of this art that you can make, this is some fun stuff. But little things like this uh, that could be useful. Yeah, so I talked about, I had a video that was talking about the importance of AI art um, and why you should start learning it. Whether you want to learn it from me in the Success Academy or you want to just learn it on YouTube, uh, there's tons of places that you can learn about AI art. Um, but I'd highly recommend it because you just, <laughs> you really have to evolve, right? You just, you really literally just have to evolve. This is a, you know, you can do, you can still do word stuff, but you're going to have to do word stuff that um, is a little bit more unique to you, right? I always said, um, as far as word stuff is concerned, is that, whoop, as far as word stuff is concerned, is that the way to be successful with word art is you gotta do stuff, you gotta do stuff that applies to your life, right? You gotta do stuff that applies to life, your life because you have to realize in your own mind, in your own experiences, you are already an expert in so many things, right? You might be an expert in teaching, you might be an expert in you know, watercolors. You might be an S expert in watching um, unique um, soap operas, right? You might be a, an expert um, in being a mom, right? You might be an expert in uh, being a mom of multiple kids, right? What does that mean? Being an expert in these things, those are things that you're familiar with, right? So you're gonna know what's funny. You're gonna know what's interesting. You're gonna know what kind of memes are gonna hit. And so people, you know, the first default thing that they do is they're like, hey, I'm just gonna go, you know, copy everyone that's already being successful on Etsy. And it's like, that's a waste of time and it's what everybody does. What you need to do is you need to do stuff that you're a unique expert in, right? Excuse me, that you're uniquely an expert in. And bring those creations to the world, right? Think about what are the funny memes that you have? What is the funny stuff that, you know, you and your significant other talk about? What is the, the funny, um, like uh, TikToks or Reels or stuff that you guys have watched lately, um, that's gonna be stuff that you're you're an expert in, right? People that are just trying to like copy how to be, uh, how to say funny mom sayings or something are never gonna have the same sort of edge, right? You already have an edge. You have this huge edge of the things that you already like, um, but everyone tends to look outside of themselves and not look within where there's actually, that's like the holy grail, right? That's the holy grail is that you start designing stuff that you're uniquely an expert in. So throw me a one in the chat if that makes sense. Design stuff that you are uniquely fit to make and you are a unique expert in. <clears throat> All 
guys. All right. Check the chat here. See if I missed anything. I use Emerson over AI art. Very nice. <clears throat> Good to see you. Hey, good to see you, Paul. <clears throat> Great idea. Awesome. Uh, what do you do when Printful runs out of stock? Uh, not have a great day, <laughs> but it does happen, right? Um, where do we sell these AI art? Uh, oh, yeah. So you, uh, so AI art, we, we talk about a little more extensively in here, but basically uh, you can obviously put things like this uh, onto a t-shirt, right? Or use this as like a base graphic, right? So you cut out the background of this, throw it on a t-shirt, and maybe you have some sort of saying. These are just like random examples that we were having of, you know, just fun art that I was designing inside of the course, the six, our Success Academy, but just kind of showing you like what is capable. But right, you could cut out the background and take this little thing of cactuses, right? And you could be like, I'm a succulent lover, right? Or like a houseplant mom, or um, a lover of houseplants, or, um, you know, <laughs> bird lady, or anything like that, right? So you, you generate these uh, using a specific set of commands uh, in an AI art generator. And then uh, we have it, you know, we've been using it for a long time, so we know how to have it basically make this type of art, right? Which is like very friendly uh, for downloading. And then, uh, like I said, we like to use um, the over app, but formerly over app, now it's GoDaddy Studio, but you remove the background and then you can make great t-shirt designs. Yeah. So basically you use the elements. Does that make sense? Throw a one in the chat if that is making sense. <clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome. We're teaching you how to sell on Etsy. Uh, let us know. Uh, in the chat where you're from, and let us know your questions about selling on Etsy. <clears throat> oh yeah, and so I think I mentioned this, but the, yeah, so the next part in our flagship course, uh, the How to Generate AI Art Part 2, uh, that will be out today, I think. I'm not sure exactly what time, but sometime today it goes live. Uh, so if you're already a member of our Success Academy, uh, go check it out. And if you guys are not in the Success Academy, like, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's definitely like, it's the value is there. Uh, it's probably like a hundred fold value. Uh, we have it on sale. It's only $2.99 uh, today. So if that's something that's interesting to you, you can go to uh, lhcsuccessacademy.com. Uh, let's see if I can, yeah. Is there a URL in here? I'll put a URL in the chat um, if anyone is interested. <clears throat> Let's see. But yeah, that new that uh new section drops today, so I'm excited. <clears throat> um Steve says, Hi from Pennsylvania. The Success Academy is fantastic. Oh they, thank y'all. Appreciate that, Steve. Man, a lot of Success Academy members in here. Throw a one in here if you're a Success Academy member. I would love to say hi to you guys. And yeah, that's so cool. So many of you guys in here. Oh my gosh, what's up? Hi, Virginia. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm a member of the Success Academy. It's awesome. Uh, can you show the process from finished design to list on Etsy? Yes, that's a good, that's a very good thing. Another, wow, you guys are all Success Academy members. That's so cool. That is awesome. Uh, yes, this art is copyright trademark free. So that is part of the terms. Um, I do go over all of that uh, in a bit more detail um, in the course itself. Um, but yeah, um, and as far as listing goes, uh, if you guys are having any trouble with listing, like there's great YouTube videos out there. Uh, just kind of find one that's new and up to date. I tend to, all the stuff in the course is a little bit more, um, high level stuff you know i don't i don't show a bunch of like the simple basic stuff but you can definitely learn a lot of that stuff on youtube so yeah <clears throat> okay awesome uh any specific questions like on how to sell on etsy and specifically like how to sell on etsy with print on demand is there any specific questions that i can answer i encourage you guys to ask them now 
Yeah, so having art like this on a t-shirt, right, that you're able to generate, it's like, you think that's not gonna give you an edge, right? <laughs> Here's some fun stuff we did just for fun. Uh, it, this is all stuff that we did um, in a video uh, talking about, or like this is my like tutorial stuff. But this is literally, just so you know, all this stuff was created in probably like an hour. Like, like every single one of these designs total in like one hour. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> It's pretty game changer. <clears throat> okay, let me check the chat. What up chat? <clears throat> okay. Uh, colors are a bit muted when printed, how to fix this? Um, okay, are you talking about from like in general or AI art or how, what colors are? Uh, good question. How do you how do you get views on your listing? Great question. Uh, you get views on your listing uh, by having good SEO, right? Um, how do you get good SEO? I, I so this is the thing. I feel like people, you know, there's obviously a lot of like um, like you know taking people's designs, you know, or blatantly like ripping people off. It's like you're never gonna get hit in life uh, doing that, obviously, right? But from a coder's perspective and from a you know life perspective, SEO is totally morally justifiable because that is like the that is like the Dewey Decimal System of the internet, right? Uh, people don't have like <laughs> the the only right to have like really good bachelorette party SEO, right? So I think that if you are having a hard time, uh, you're having a hard time with SEO. Uh, find the best SEO and I implore you to have intelligent, intimidate, uh, uh, intelligent um, imitation of that SEO, right? You can use those titles, right? There's like, there's no reason to not use these titles. You know, I can't even imagine how many people uh, have made money off of our titles and like our SEO. That's why we have books about it, right? We literally have books about it because it was like, everyone's just stealing it anyways. We might as well make SEO books. Um, <laughs> you can look um, at our homepage or like in the description of any of our videos. We have three different books that are all SEO um, that can help you get started with that. Uh, we also have that as a free bonus right now uh, in the Success Academy. You get all three of our SEO books. Um, but yeah, SEO is the Dewey Decimal of the system, right? SEO is the dual de Dewey Decimal of the system, <laughs> Dewey Decimal system uh, of the internet. And it's like, it's fine, you know, use SEO uh, from people that are successful on Etsy and that's how you'll get more views. Um, now, will those views, the, will the views turn into, uh, will those views turn into uh, sales is up to you because you're going to have to have some pretty captivating artwork, right? You're going to have to have something that is something people love, right? At the end of the day, um, you know, making shirts is about making stuff that people love. And we talked about this earlier, uh, but there's a whole bunch of new people in here. Hi, everyone. We just got here. Um, if you guys want to give this video a thumbs up on your device, that would be great. Uh, those thumbs up help me and let me know that this is useful. I would love that. That'd be great. Um, I know it might be a little awkward, but if you could do it, that'd be great. Um, yeah. And so the, the big thing is that design stuff that you love, right? First off, make a list. Literally grab a pen and grab a paper and be like, what do I love? What do I watch? What books do I read? What do I think is funny? What are the what are the things that me and my friends talk about? What are the things that me and my spouses talk about? Like people are so busy looking outwards and they're trying to come up with unique and creative ideas. What they don't realize is that they are an expert within themselves, right? The things that you are uniquely in love with, those are your niches. Those are where you should start, right? That is how you start getting sales on Etsy, is that you design what you love, right? Me and Kelsey, for example, love Christmas. We've always loved Christmas. So the first things that we ever started designing were ugly Christmas sweaters, right? And it wasn't... Ugly Christmas sweaters like wasn't even really a thing in 2013. Like it sounds dramatic, but it like it literally wasn't even a thing, right? Like 2013, 
uh, we love Christmas and we're like, let's just make funny, ugly Christmas sweaters. And that's how we got started, right? A little bit down the road, then it was like, oh, every bachelorette party that Kelsey want, went to always had these same very boring, like bride, bridesmaid, maid of honor, whatever. And Kelsey was like, why don't we make some like banging uh, bridesmaid stuff? Like stuff that's funny, stuff that's like cheeky, stuff that's like, uh, you know, um, has a bit of humor into it. And so we just started making amazing, funny stuff. Um, and this was, you know, when was that? 2014 or 2015? And like back then it was only like, um, like was it not bedazzled? <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but like rhinestone was very like the name, th like the main thing of way bachelorette party people design. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> hand to God, I'm not trying to like to my own horn, but it's like, we literally like made these markets. Like there was a couple of us like in 2012 and 20 th or 2013 that started making Christmas stuff and we were all really good at it, right? There was like three or four of us um, <laughs> and we were all really good at it. And we basically made that niche happen, right? And then a couple years later, um, we, Kelsey and I literally started making the graphics bachelorette market happen. Like we, we, we definitely like hand to God had a part in creating this niche uh, within an Etsy because before that it was just basic boring stuff. But me and Kelsey are like, no, we want to make cheeky stuff, funny stuff. We want to make colorful stuff. We want to make uh, unique sayings, right? And so we made all these unique sayings, but that was just because that was stuff that was unique to us, right? That was unique to us. And then lo and behold, it ended up being this category. And I'm sure people have, you know, made, you know, now, now the category has exploded, right? There's, there's tons of different stuff. But the moral of the story is that there's a unique niche within yourself, right? We always started in the way that we became successful was making stuff that we genuinely loved and niches that we felt were underserved. Uh, but that's still today, right? It's still today, right? Like, you know, the, you know, I don't know what's new this in the world. TikTok is new, right? Twitch is kind of new, um, you know, different categories of things that didn't even exist, you know, a couple years ago that you might now be into. Maybe it's like a new, uh, unique show, right? Maybe there's some obscure, you know, soap opera that you like. Maybe there's like funny mom memes that you specifically like, but the moral of the story is that you already have it. If you're watching this video, like what are we in? Let's, let's see how long we've been talking on this video. We are, where's the little chat? We are 47 minutes in. If you are watching, if you were watching this for 47 minutes and you are still interested, right? You are still intrigued by like the idea of making uh, successful Etsy art, you already have the inherent skill within you. You can do it. It's not, it's un, it's unequivocal, right? There's not, there's not an if, ands, or buts, right? Because you have an interest in this, right? You have an interest in this, so then you have the subsequent ability as well. So long tangent, throw a one in the chat if that all made sense. I'm gonna have a bit of water. <clears throat> you get some more water. Where's my water? <laughs> Be right back and grab my water. All right, hello friends, I'm back. I plan on doing a 15 minute live, but I love you guys. And so that's why we're doing a hour long live, right? So I will be all yours for another 11 minutes. So I encourage you to throw your questions in there. Um, I got one more tip on how to get you more sales on Etsy. And yeah, then we'll have a little Q&A at the end and we'll wrap it up. <clears throat> uh, hi from Toronto. Wonderful to see you and the family. Hi. How's it going? I get a lot of questions about that too. Um, a lot of people ask, uh, what, where, uh, you know, how, where in the world can I do this? I have had successful students from everywhere. And when I mean everywhere, I mean everywhere. <laughs> Literally 
everywhere. I'm talking Scotland, Canada, um, Mexico, Australia, everything, right? So if you don't happen to be in the United States, don't let that hold you back, right? Uh, you can, there's, there's tons of stuff to be sold uh, here in the United States of America. Um, and it doesn't matter where you're from, right? That's, that's the beauty of print on demand is that you literally don't, you don't have to print it yourself, right? And the, all these companies have all these different uh, facilities all over the place. And so you can make a beautiful t-shirt like this, right? Beautiful t-shirt like this, and you can, you know, have it for sale. Uh, just, just to, to recap, recap for all the new people here, um, uh, tip one, if you want to get more sales on Etsy uh, and you're having trouble figuring out where to design uh, or what niches to design, you're going to want to use ChatGPT, right? Use ChatGPT and type in whatever thing. What are the most popular hobbies? Uh, what are the biggest, you know, what are the most popular jobs, right? You see things like nurse, police officer, firefighter, but then you can, you can literally just say, tell me more, tell me more, and it'll get deeper into even more niches, so you won't have any design block, right? Uh, the second part is, I encourage you to do a 30-day challenge, right? If you want to be successful on Etsy, like, you're going to transform your life, because what would, it, you know, I, I think it's really realistic within 30 to 90 days to be able to make an extra 500 to 1,000 bucks a month, uh, even if you're just starting out. And so I encourage you to do a 30-day challenge, try to make 100 designs during that time, and withhold judgment for that full 30 days, okay? The other thing is, is what gets measured gets managed, and so I encourage you to start a Google Sheets, excuse me, a Google Sheets, put the date on the left, and put your segments of things that you have to do on the right, right? So did I create today, yes or no? And score it one through 10. Uh, if you created a little bit, you can give yourself a three. If you created a ton, um, if you created a ton, then you can put uh, 10, right? You can put 10. And so I would encourage you to do that um, and have all the things that are important to you. Did I design, did I list, um, did I research, uh, did I, um, um, let's see, I don't know, whatever, whatever your workflow is, right? And then scale it one to 10 and then make a graph of that. And so you can see every day, how many tens did I get? And it gets very satisfying after like five, 10, 15, 20 days, you have this very satisfying graph where you know that you put the work in every single day. Um, and until that 30, and, until that 30 days is over, um, I definitely uh, would recommend just withhold judgment, right? I definitely would recommend just withholding judgment until then. So do a 30 day challenge. Uh, the other thing is if you're not doing AI art, uh, especially for clothing, whether it's like you're making uh, clothing, uh, you can, whether you're making like, see these like little elements like this, uh, if you made like a funny knitting shirt, um, or if you need like a little cute llama, these are all just a little, a couple of little things that we helped, that, that we made uh, during some tutorial stuff um, in our Success Academy. Um, and the second part of it comes out here, but whether you use AI art or learn how to do AI art from us, you know, or not, that's fine. Uh, we just are naturally very good at AI art when it pertains to designing on t-shirts. That's what our specialty is. So if you want to learn from us, great. Uh, you can invest in the Success Academy. It's on sale. If not, just learn AI art in general because, you know, the people that know how to do this stuff um, are going to have a huge edge selling clothing, selling t-shirts. Um, and then the other part is, is design what is unique to you, right? Design what is unique to you. I guarantee you already have a $500 a month t-shirt idea inside of you right now. It's the thing that you like, it's the things that you love, it's the memes that you share with your friends, um, it's the things that you, um, that, that you constantly talk about with your friends. Those are the things that you're uniquely an expert in that I'm not, right? I'm not, I don't, I'm not into knitting, right? I'm not into NASA, I'm not into space, I'm not, um, I'm not into um, like novels, right? I'm not into uh, different kinds of like maybe uh, fantasy novels or certain books or like, you know, I don't know what's going on with a lot of like, um, you know, current events and things like that. Like I'm, I'm not really involved in that, but there might be certain things that you are involved in, right? And those are your unique things. Maybe, maybe you know, someone said something funny politically. Maybe uh, there's a certain uh, meme going around about certain kind of food, or maybe uh, you know more things about, um, I don't know, meats or, um, you know, barbecuing or things like that, right? Um, uh, me and Kelsey, uh, or me in particular, and, and Kelsey more recently, 
um, have been moving away from a diet that has meat in it and going more vegetarian, right? So we're obviously very much in the mix of it. And so like we've been sharing like funny vegetarian memes, uh, funny vegetarian like humor and things like that. And so as being a vegetarian in having trying this out, you know, over the last you know number of weeks, that's something that we're currently in. And so it'd be very easy because we're very deep inside of it uh, to start doing uh, vegetarian related funny t-shirts, right? Things that are funny about meat, things are funny about uh, being a vegetarian. You know, that would be a great example of something that's new to our life that we would be able to use and generate income if we wanted to make vegetarian t-shirts. If you're not making vegetarian t-shirts and you're vegetarian, you should definitely do that. And if you're a big component of meat eating, right? Barbecue or steak or whatever, things like that, that's also another thing, right? So it doesn't really matter. You gotta eat one way or the other. Maybe you're pescatarian, right? You just eat fish. I'm sure there's some funny things that you can make regarding that too. So it's like looking at yourself, like what is your diet like? What is your uh, parental style like? How many kids do you have, right? Like maybe you know funny uh, uh, memes about being a boy mom. Maybe you know funny memes about being a girl mom. Maybe you know uh, funny memes about um, Maybe you were an only child, right? Maybe you came from a big family. That is a whole bunch of ideas. <laughs> Does that all make sense? Let me let me let me check up, read up on the chat. Let me see what you guys are doing. <clears throat> oh, the sound! Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, we are in a new. <laughs> this room is literally has nothing in it. And so that makes sense. I appreciate you guys' recommendation. I will definitely take that into consideration. Get some better sound. Greenville, North Carolina. Get out of here, Linda. You know I'm from you know I used to live in Greenville, North Carolina. Right by the Walmart. Yeah, crazy. Greenville. Linda, how often do you see Mr. Beast? <clears throat> Hello to the 273 of y'all. I love you guys very much, and thank you for being here. Let us know where you're from in the chat. What's up, Ireland? God, I love Ireland. Corey said, I appreciate you taking the time to go live today. It inspired me to revisit my online, online sales. Heck yeah, you got this. If you're watching this stream, anyone who's watching this stream, you can make you can make this happen. You can be successful selling t-shirts online. It's no, no doubt about it. Like, I guarantee you can do it. And the thing is, it's like, it's supposed to be hard at the beginning. Uh, I, you know, I'm just two or three steps ahead of you, maybe four or five steps ahead of you. But like, I've been through the whole journey. And, you know, that's the thing that we always talk about is that, you know, we weren't some magical designers and stuff. We honestly just outworked everybody. We didn't give up. We continued to persevere. We continued to fail. We continued to try. Uh, we got good mentors. I mean, getting a mentor is literally treat codes for life. Like, you know, if you're trying to learn a new skill, get a mentor. Whether it's me or somebody else, like, get a mentor because they have already followed the path, right? And it's like, it's like, it's imagine your life is kind of like Plinko, right? And when you drop that chip, it's like ding, 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 and can end up all the way over here, right? A mentor helps you just move that Plinko chip right into that million dollar, right into that center slot, right? Like on Price is Right, and helps you guide you, right? Helps keep you, get you off runway heady and help keep moving you straight. So if you're having you know trouble, I encourage you, get a mentor, whether it's us or somebody else, but find someone that's a few, you know, a few places ahead of you and follow them. Because at the end of the day, what would it mean to you to have an extra 500, or a thousand bucks a month, or maybe even five or ten thousand dollars a month, uh, passively, right? How easy could you replace a, a part-time job or maybe even a full-time job? Uh, let that feeling and let that future, let the the desire in the present moment bring you into that future, right? Let you let you be so hungry for that in your mind, imagining what it would be like to make that extra thousand bucks a month. Let that bring you through, and help you persevere through the little obstacles because. I'm telling you, you can make it by just sticking with it, right? The biggest thing that most people, the biggest problem that most people have is that 
they don't realize that almost everybody quits, right? Almost everybody gives up. But you can just simply outwork everyone. You can just commit to making more stuff and being more consistent and staying to and staying about, you know, staying with it longer than everybody else. And you inevitably have you inevitably win. It's it's unbelievable. Like uh, you guys might know, but if you haven't seen the newest video with Jenny, go watch that video and hear about her success and like what she did going from a teacher to where she's at now. Uh, she's also teaching. She's on TikTok and she's teaching students as well. And there's people every single day that are starting from absolute bare minimum scratch um, and they're just starting out and they're just making it. So if you've been in this in any period of time, you already have an edge on everyone. So, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Camp of Florida, New Jersey. Hi, chat. Nice to see you guys. I appreciate you live. No problem. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Um, I just bought, uh, Michelle says, I just bought your Etsy Academy and I'm going through the videos. Thank you, Jenny Kelsey. You are so welcome, man. Thank you for so much for being a member. Uh, yeah, anyone in Success Academy, I'm always just pouring you know, all of the best new stuff that I can possibly know. We literally just threw the whole entire, you know, literally a 22 step mindset course in there that's on top of the fundamentals. And then we just threw the AI course on top of there. Um, yeah, so. Uh, all right, chat, let's see here. Ooh. Hello everybody in the chat. We're helping you get, get more sales on Etsy. Uh, let us know where you're from in the chat. If you have any questions, let me know. Where'd the chat go? Let's see. Yeah, so yeah, mentorship is all sold out. Uh, we're, we're not doing the mentorship. Uh, the, only, the only thing that exists uh, is this, this thing right here. We have one, uh, one way uh, to learn from us. And the, the thing is with the mentorship, like, uh, you know, for a couple of years, we just handheld and taught everybody. And, but we basically were just repeating ourselves, repeating ourselves, repeating ourselves. And literally it was actually the mentorship, uh, that recommended that we make this and put in everything that we had talked about. I mean, you can go see a lot of these people were in the mentorship. Uh, this is Cass, which you might, you guys might know. Um, from she's on YouTube now, she's great. Uh, but you can hear these people chat and their experiences um, with the course, uh, people on Facebook leaving comments because what we do now is that instead of repeating ourselves infinity times, uh, we just put it all in here, right? So now you're just getting, you're, you're getting, this, this has been around, uh, we've been updating it for two years now. And so you're getting such an amazing version of it and it will literally never be this cheap ever again. Like this is the absolute cheapest. We just added two new sections to it. Um, and so what you get in it um, is you get all of our books. So if you have a problem with SEO, we literally give you three books and these are all niches in SEO that go along with those. Uh, we give you a whole mindset training. Um, and these are just lectures and things that I've learned to help people literally hand holding students' hands. And so, when I'm inspired, I throw stuff in here, right? So we give you the fundamentals, every single thing that you can do. Uh, we teach you about design and how to design. We teach you about SEO. We teach you about workflow. Uh, these are all uh, the different free bonuses that we have right now. Uh, we just added this, this is the Etsy uh, mindset class. And so this is literally, like I said, conquering negativity, uh, millionaire exercise, how to remove limiting beliefs, how to be self-motivated, removing procrastination. Uh, these are just, you know, top of mind, things that, that, that came. Um, <laughs> oh, you, the chat just goes, love your course. My husband and I call it Sharon University, and it's helped us so much. Thank you. I'm sorry. That's, <laughs> that's amazing. That, that Sharon University, comma, it just made me laugh. Um, but, but yeah, so these are all the most powerful things that I think are going to help you succeed. And so when they come to me, I throw them in here. You know, this is... This is just, this is the holy grail of, you know, <laughs> Jaron University, uh, as Virginia would say. Um, and yeah, so, you know, this just came out in the last couple of months. I just figured I'd help people with every single thing that might get you stopped, uh, you know, in, in regards to mindset, right? So this is, uh, 
enlightened entrepreneurship, expand your creativity, compassion, cultivating gratitude, confidence. And, and these are things that you might not realize are important when it comes to being successful, but it's like, you know, when you are your own business, like your mindset is the most important thing in the world. And so we literally just made a 22 video course that we just bolted on into here. Uh, but yeah, law of compensation, money is a living force, a billionaire exercise, uh, secret goal, patience and perseverance, these are all things. And the thing that we were talking about earlier in the video that we just dropped uh, in here as well is how to make money with AI art. This just came out. So anytime something new is fresh, I dive it in here. You get lifetime access if you sign up. It'll literally never be this cheap ever um, because it's just getting bigger and bigger. We're just adding so much stuff. Like it literally was just this little first half part uh, you know, when it first came out at this price and then we added the free books and then now we have two other complete courses. So, uh, let's see, is this course for success in selling print tees? Uh, uh, can I expand to other days? Yeah. So it's fundamentals on how to be a good entrepreneur. It's specifically how to sell print on demand t-shirts. Um, and I need the mindset coaching. Sounds awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, Emma, I, I imagine you're going to like it. The, the response has been unbelievable. I actually get like a little bit emotional about how much has impacted the people, uh, specifically the mindset stuff. Uh, just, you know, helping people like conquer negativity and, and overcoming these limiting beliefs that are really helping them, um, you know, moving forward in their life. So I, uh, yeah, I get a little emotional, honestly, because this, this is something that Kelsey thought would be really important. Um, and she helped write out this whole thing. And I just shot video after video after video of every mistake that we've made and how to help us conquer uh, and be a successful entrepreneur. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing is that we want to help you help yourself. You know, that's the most important thing is, that's the whole reason we're here is to help you help yourself. And so anything that ever comes to mind that you think that, that we think could be of help to you and help you help yourself, it will always be in Success Academy you'll get lifetime access. Uh, and so there's always new stuff coming. Anyone that's been in it uh, understands. So uh, <laughs> Corey says, I am enrolling, looking forward to putting the tools into action. Wow, Corey, well, I appreciate you. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in there. Uh, there's a bunch of comment threads, you know, you can write any questions that you have once you get in there, but yeah, excited to have you be a part of it. So um, I was one of those stay at home moms uh, you and Kelsey thought of way back when you started your course. Love both of you so much for all your kindness. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, you you literally were. Uh, and that was uh, what she's referring to is we had this idea at Panda Express that we could, we could we just, we had this idea that there's people and specifically what came to mind was like stay at home moms that could do this with just maybe, you know, a half hour, an hour a day, be able to replace, you know, say you had a part-time job of any kind, like you'd easily be able to replace it with your artwork and then be able to spend all that time with your kids, you know? So that was, that's how our whole YouTube channel got created. So yeah, well, I love you guys so much. I'm going to take off. Um, there's a ton of information. If you just got here, I'm sorry, I got to take off, uh, maybe rewatch the video. Um, but yeah, I, I love you guys so much and I, I can't wait, you know, to hear more of your success stories, leave them in the comments. Um, any questions that you have, uh, we read every single message, literally every single message. So I appreciate that. Um, yeah. Oh, you guys are so, you guys are so sweet. Uh, Tiffany from California. I love the Academy. I'm working on it on, on a ton of new listings. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, th thanks Jaron university. I love it. Awesome guys. All right, man. Well, I love you and have an amazing day and thanks so much for being here and at the end of the day realize uh that you can't do this without a doubt so i love you all and i'll catch you on the next one later <laughs>